Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel, it's Moudin again, and today I'm going to solve a usably step one U word question of the musculoskeletal block. But first, I want to apologize because I forgot my iPad and I cannot highlight or write anything. Sorry, I will start now. A 23 year old man is brought to the emergency department after sustaining stab injuries in a street fight. The patient feels lightheaded and dizzy. Blood pressure is decreased pulse is increased physical examination shows profuse bleeding from penetrating wounds over the right neck and shoulder area intravenous fluid are admins administered and a blood transfusion is initiated urgent surgical ex exploration is performed and injured blood vessels are repaired further exploration shows complete transection of a specific nerve which is indicated by the arrows in, in the uh, image below the image here shows the brachial plexus and as we can see for, uh, on the left of the picture and we can start from above we can see the musculocutaneous nerve then the axillary nerve then the radial nerve which has the arrow then the median nerve then the ulnar nerve so the arrow here indicates the radial nerve you can memorize those nerves by the mnemonic m-a-r-m-u which is the musculoskeletal nerve then axillary nerve, then the radial nerve, then the medial nerve, and ulnar nerve. You need to repeat them many times to memorize them. Which of the following actions is most likely to be impaired as a result of this patient nerve injury? The correct answer here is the extension of wrist, because as we said, the arrow indicates the radial nerve, and the radial nerve supplies the, uh, you can memorize the muscles that the uh, radial nerve supply by the mnemonic PEST which is the brachioradialis, extensors, subinator, and the triceps muscle. So we have here in the uh, choices the extension of the wrist, which is made by the extensor muscles. And thank you for watching.